What is up, everybody? Welcome back to Man the Chamber. We're doing some more pack opening. They came out with March of the Machine, the aftermath. So it's gonna, it's like a weird mini set. I think there's only like 50 cards or something. They gave us some packs for it, so we're gonna see. But first, why don't we open some original packs? See what we got going down over here. I'm getting a, a Invasion of Ergamon. Making treasures, discarding cards, drawing cards, getting a rhino, enters, discarding cards, searching your library for battles, revealing them, putting them into your hand. Crazy. We're getting this bladed battle fan. It's got a flash. It enters a battlefield. It attaches to a creature. It gives them indestructible. It gives them plus one plus zero. Very cool. Let's flip this thing. What we got? Listening Dawn, incubate X twice, where X is the number of lands you can toll. Man, that's pretty dope. All right, pack number two here. We're going down, we're getting the Iridescent Blade Master. He gets plus two, plus two, it's four mana. We're getting the Invasion of Ogratha. They enter the battlefield, deal three damage to any target, gain three life uh, when they enter or when a creature an opponent controls dies you put a plus one counter on them and then gain a life that's pretty sweet i got the windscarred crag the uh march of the machine windscarred crag we're getting this storm claw rager man you can sacrifice things put a plus one counter on him draw cards looks like we're gonna have another boy to play around with coming up so who's he jury oh if i can spell it right jury master of the review all right solid march of the machine guys so whenever you sacrifice a permanent put a plus one counter on jury master of review hopefully that's how you say it when he dies it deals damage equal to his power to any target very nice and then we're getting a tally primal conqueror look at this boy this is one i was hoping to be able to make so Atali, Primal, Conqueror. He gets trampled. When he enters a battlefield, they exile cards from the top of their library until they exile non-land. I may cast any number of the exiles without paying their mana costs. He does a big transform. He turns into this trample, indestructible. When he deals combat damage to a player, they get that many poison counters. It's pretty wonka donk, you know? All right, well, those were those. Now let's get into the reason why we're here for this pack opening video. March of the Machine, the Aftermath, the weird mini set. It's going to be Buck. We got the Halo Charged Scob. Enters a battlefield. Each player mills. I can put an instant or sorcery of battle from the graveyard of my library. Nice. We got the Harnessed Snubhorn. When he enters, or when he deals combat damage to a player, return target artifact or enchantment from your graveyard to the battlefield. Very sick. Looks like we got a Cosmic Rebirth. I can choose target permanent card in your graveyard. It has mana value three or less. Put it on the battlefield. If you don't put it on the battlefield, put it in your hand. Gain three life. Awesome. And then the final. Oh, we got a like Mythic to play around with. Don't know if I'll use that. All right, pack number two of the aftermath you got this reckless handling search your library for an artifact card reveal it put it in your hand discard a card at random if an artifact card was discarded this way deal two damage to each opponent cool ren's resolve exile the top two cards of your library until the end of your next turn you may play those cards awesome under city upheaval distribute x plus one plus one counters among any number of target creatures you control where x is the number of creature cards in your graveyard as you cast the spell creatures you control gain vigilance until the end of the turn this is a mean card and it's very nasty training grounds activate abilities of creatures you control cost two less to activate this effect can, can't reduce mana in that cost unless to less than one mana that's pretty dope too and we're getting ooh, a legendary guy what do we got here yurok the desecrated 
Okay, so Death Touch, Lifelink. If a permanent entering the battlefield causes a triggered ability of a permanent you control to trigger, that ability triggers an additional time. He sounds fun. Sounds like a fun guy. All right. The last pack of the aftermath is going to give us a Markov Reborn, Lifelink. Other vampires you control get plus one, plus one. Convoke of Madness. Sweet. We got the Swift Water Cliffs. Going to get crazy and swift. And then the Urborg Scavengers. So when it enters a battlefield or attacks, exile target card from a graveyard. Put a plus one counter on it. When uh, it'll get flying as long as the exile card has flying. Same with first strike, double strike, death touch, haste, hex proof, indestructible, lifelink, menace, reach, trample, and vigilance. That is sick. That is dope. I guess that's it for today. We're just doing a little quick pack opening video since March of the Machine, the Aftermath came out. Hopefully you're having a good time hanging out at the channel. I'd love a like, would love a subscribe. Love if you commented, are you interested in this? The Aftermath um, packs, are you interested in real cards in real life? Are you interested in them in Arena? Did uh, Wizard of the Coast make a misstep putting out this really tiny little set? It seems that the market value in real paper magic is going down. That's kind of like the way it goes sometimes. It was a really weird set. I don't understand why they sold bundles of it. Um, yeah. All right. Peace.